Hey guys, back for fitness and health part two. <laughs> so I walked you guys through my refrigerator and went over what kind of stuff I have in there. And now I'm going to walk you through my cupboards and then we'll follow it up with a video later about what I do, what I eat. What kind of things do I stock in my cupboards? This is going to get real basic. I pre-warn you guys. I'm not a snacky person. I omit snacks such as chips, pop, cookies, anything like that because they're high fat and they're high sugar and they're not good for you. So instead I grab for things like vegetables or nuts or high protein, healthy snacks that aren't going to add, you know, unneeded calories. I do on occasion grab like popcorn or something, or if it's like, you know, having people over, I might go buy pretzels and some snack pack or something, but that's not a usual thing that I carry in the house. And that's not usually what I eat. You ready? I live in a condo, so small space. <laughs> Ta da! Cupboard number one. All right, top shelf is our cereals. Now, I don't eat cereal very often. I tend to eat oatmeal for breakfast most often. And now TC tends to eat hard boiled eggs and some veggies and fruit. So our cereals will kind of sit there for a little while. I put them in Ziploc bags so that they are sealed and they don't go stale. TC likes some raisin bran and some mini wheats. I am very basic, I like Cheerios. And I mean like straight up plain Cheerios. Oh, I love it with like a little fruit in it. Oh, it's good. I did buy Honey Nut Cheerios just because it had been, <laughs> it probably been over a decade since I had any. And I kind of saw them in the store one day and I was like, I could mix like a quarter of this and three quarters regular Cheerios. That could be good. They're very sweet, let me pre-warn you. So yeah, they're there and they've been there for a long time. Other than that, for cereals, I grew up my brother We'd always have the rule, a sugary cereal, a healthy cereal. And we had to go through both before we could open another sugar cereal. My brother would have his bowl of cereal and mound it full of the sugary cereal. So I'd get like one, maybe two bowls tops. And then he would literally just be like, eat healthy, eat healthy, eat healthy. So I was always the one that ate healthy stuff and he ate the sugary cereals. I think to this day, I should probably say thank you to him though, because <laughs> when it comes to cereal, I like basic cereal. I don't like it full of sugar. I like Cheerios. I like cornflakes. I even like puff rice. <laughs> I know, kind of weird. All right, shelf number two has got all your little kind of like bulk like items. So I have raw sesame seeds, not salted, just raw sesame seeds. These I put on a salad or I mix them in with my oatmeal to give my oatmeal a little bit of a crunch. I have raw pumpkin seeds. You don't want to roast them because when you buy roasted nuts or roasted seeds, they're always salted and they include oil when they roast them. So it just ups your fats and ups your calories and you don't need that. This I mix into salads or sometimes they're just nice to pop in your mouth and eat. Or I can roast them on a bake sheet without any oil and have them be roasted. Unsalted roasted cashews. I know, I said don't buy anything roasted, and here I have roasted cashews. <laughs> cashews are really freaking expensive when you buy them in bulk. I buy these in a big container from Costco because they're cheaper that way, like monumentally cheaper, and they only come roasted, they don't come raw. So but I buy roasted unsalted, so they're not quite so bad. This is a good healthy snack. I'll grab this in like an apple for a quick easy snack or on a go snack. I have raisins. I keep them in a Ziploc bag because this container doesn't quite seal and I don't like them to be dried out. Raisins are my backup plan. I'll put these on my Cheerios or I'll put them on my oatmeal when I'm out of fruit. So they're just the, I can't get to the grocery store for a day or two. I'm going to roll with this. I have rice. I buy long grain brown rice. Long grain because I like the long grain. Brown rice because brown rice is better for you. White rice is bleached. No good. And then I buy quinoa. I buy white quinoa. I buy it so it's pre-rinsed, ready to go, and I can just cook it. Usually I have in the fridge on the top shelf, like I outlined in my last video, I will have a mix of both of these cooked already in the fridge, so I just have to warm it up because that's quick and easy. If all I have to do is grab a plate, put a chicken breast on it, some rice and quinoa, and heat it up in the microwave, and then throw some vegetables on my plate from the fridge, Done. That's a healthy, easy to go meal. That's pretty convenient. 
Okay, next I have Power Bars. I don't eat them very often because they tend to be higher sugar. These ones aren't bad. They're low sugar, they're gluten-free, and they're 15 grams of protein for a tiny little Power Bar. I will eat these before I hit the gym because I don't like to eat a full meal. I will grab these and pop them in my purse. I usually have some in my glove box of my car. That way, if I'm out and about and need a quick, easy, protein-rich snack, we can go with this. I go for protein-rich snacks because protein helps for fuel, it helps for longer-lasting fuel, and it's just better in general. I try to avoid sugars and fats other than the few areas I get them, which I select where I choose them from. Coffee filters, coffee, and craft dinner. This is maybe once a week, once every two weeks. This is a cheat meal. Yet again, as I outlined when we were in the fridge, for cheat meals, I have two a week and I try to maintain at least one of them is something I make at home. I like pasta and I like cheese. <laughs> TC likes pasta and cheese. Craft dinner, quick, easy, done. So that is my second shelf. So cereal on the top, bulk and Katie on the second. Bottom shelf is easy to go stuff. So we have crackers here. My crackers, I had just finished off the rice crackers today, so there's more below. I haven't opened them yet. These are wheat thins. TC likes them. They're not bad. So they're there. I have a little thing of Metamucil, which is good. I usually use this once or twice a week, usually after a cheat meal, just so that I feel like I'm not like... Honey, which I really only use in tea. I'll put honey in tea sometimes, or if I have a sore throat, honey with lemon and hot water. TC does not like natural peanut butter, so I buy him the regular stuff. I do buy him the light so it's less sugar and less fat. Popcorn. I love Air Pop popcorn. Healthy, and they don't add butter, so it's not bad. A giant container of oats. This is my oatmeal. I grab quick oats, even though I know whole oats or uh, stone cut oats are better for you. I find them less palatable and harder to eat. So I grab quick rolled oats because it, it's more palatable. <laughs> it's gotta be something I wanna eat. So usually I just take a scoop of this. I throw in some of the seeds, some cinnamon, a little bit of stevia, and that's and water. And then I warm it up and that's my oatmeal. I also have salted premium plus crackers. I don't know, I like saltine crackers. <laughs> I try not to eat these. I try to stick to rice crackers because I prefer rice over wheat. And then in case I feel like having a cheat meal, sometimes I make pancakes, because I like pancakes. So I buy the sugar-free syrup. So this is sweetened with sucralose. It's arguable if it's better than for you. I feel better eating it and I find it's a little thinner. So I personally like it better. And then I've got Aunt Jemima's add an egg, add a milk. You can get the one that's just water, but it's actually not as good for you as if you add milk and egg. And then I have what is a very old bag of spaghetti, which I'm not sure if this goes bad, but it's probably been in there for a year. So hopefully not. <laughs> this is for the odd occasion. I'm going to have spaghetti or we're going to make pasta. I keep it in the house too because sometimes we'll have sometimes I'll have my in-laws come into town for the night and they're spending the night here and I'm gonna make us dinner and I like to have something on hand that's easy to cook that I know everyone's gonna eat. So there you go. Leave that and move on to down below. So that's my cupboard. Down below, I would consider this like my pantry because I don't have a pantry. So it's gonna get real snug over here. So on my Lazy Susan, I do have a thing of hot chocolate. I should note that this was a gift at Christmas time and it's probably been in here for two years. <laughs> I never use it. I do have Lipton chicken noodle soup. I get the less salt one. I love this if I'm not feeling very well or I'm feeling sick. Usually I will add egg to it or egg whites and veggies to it. So it's a little bit more healthy and hearty and full of protein. I've got soup. So soup's easy, quick. I grab for high vegetable ones. So this is hearty vegetable beef. I also have a minestrone. So minestrone is just lots of vegetables with beans. And I think I have, yeah, I have a chicken with rice. So chicken noodle with rice. So those are a quick, easy meal. I don't feel like cooking anything. There's nothing. 
I've got tuna. I go with chunk lights tuna in water. Never get it in oil. In water is always better. I do have one container of tomato soup. I do get the less salt one because soups are high in salt. I get this because Sunday afternoons I usually want a tuna fish sandwich and tomato soup. Not that bad for you. Why not? Other than that, I've got beans. Beans are a great meal. I usually will take beans and I will mix in corn and then I'll have chopped veggies on the side and that's my lunch. Um, beans are high in protein. I only buy the ones that are with tomato sauce, not with pork or not with the syrup and, or chili sized ones. I usually mix them together. They're pretty good. And I do have a thing of refried beans for should we be making tacos or taco salad, even though they're not as good for you as just regular beans. So that is my lazy Susan. Down below, I have lots of rice crackers. I love them. They're delicious. I have more premium plus crackers. And then I have Mr. Noodles, instant noodles. Um, TC likes them. And they're nice to have. It's just like a quick, easy go-to. They are more of a cheat meal kind of thing. We don't eat them that often. I have extras of everything. So I've got another thing of protein bars. I've got the big container of the nuts from above. I have the full bag of the brown rice, full bag of the popcorn, full bag, ooh, that's open, of the quinoa, that's fun. <laughs> I have stevia, so I don't use sugar, I use stevia and I use stevia in the raw. So stevia is a natural source that is zero calorie sugar. It's from the cane family. It takes a little bit to get used to. It is a lot sweeter than regular sugar, so you don't need as much, but I like it. It makes me feel healthier. I have extra barbecue sauce, which will probably be under here forever because the other container doesn't get used very often. I have big containers of oatmeal. A lot of it I just put in small containers up top so it's easier for me to grab. I have containers of regular beans. So if I make a stir fry, I quite often will throw in kidney beans as well as whatever meat source I'm having just because it's high in protein and fiber, which is good. I have... I have, this is a backup for my oatmeal. So should I not want raisins and not have bananas or strawberries, I get peaches that are in water. Packed in water because in juice, more sugar, not as good. I get them packed in water and I'll take a couple of the slices, chop them in little pieces and mix them into my oatmeal. Pretty much I use this sparingly as a way to help me eat the oatmeal <laughs> so I don't get sick of it. And then I also have a large container of metamucil. Yet again, little guy I use and refill when needed. So there you guys have it. That's everything that's in my cupboards. Please note, you did not see. There's no chips, no cookies, no fruit roll-ups, no um, fruit snacks, stuff like that. I try to stick with whole foods, i.e. if I want something fruity, I get an actual piece of fruit. If I'm wanting something that's more like, you know, starchy, kind of replace a chip, I will have the pickles, like I said earlier in my last video, or I'll have like the popcorn. If I'm wanting something kind of sweet and salty, I'll have the peanut butter with like celery sticks or apple. So I try to avoid things that are highly processed and that will contain lots of sugar oil or excess fats. So there you guys go. Hopefully this goes along well with my fridge video and helps give you guys a little insight into what I eat and what sort of things are in my fridge. As I said already at the beginning of this video, I will be outlining what I make for meals next. So look for that video. Please, please click the subscribe button probably right here, picture of my face. That will help you so you don't miss the next fitness or health video. And these videos here, are things that you guys can check out to see what else is on my channel and also enjoy, I don't know, clothing try-ons, dating advice, behind the scenes, all sorts of fun things. Alrighty guys, thank you so much. Bye for now.